We're all familiar with the squeaky high voices of people who've breathed in some helium gas. For example, from a helium balloon. But there are other gases that produce the opposite effect. Breathing in pure oxygen instead of ordinary air will give you slightly lower tones than normal. But to enjoy speaking with a really deep Morgan Freeman-like bass, for a few seconds at least, a good choice would be to suck in some sulfur hexafluoride. A key factor affecting the pitch of a person's voice is the speed of sound in the gas that passes over the vocal cords. The vibrating cords set up oscillations in the vocal tract, which include the fundamental or lowest frequency, together with a series of harmonics or multiples of the fundamental. The speed of sound in helium is 972 meters per second, nearly three times higher than the speed of sound in ordinary air, which is 331 meters per second. Because speed is proportional to frequency, the result is that when helium fills the vocal tract, the frequencies of the resonant harmonics increase several fold and a much higher sounding vocal pitch is produced. The opposite is true in the case of sulfur hexafluoride, in which the speed of sound is a mere 133 meters per second, well under half the equivalent speed in air. There are other gases in which the speed of sound is much lower than that in air, and so would also produce deeper tones. These include xenon, which is extremely rare, chloroform, which would put you to sleep if you breathed it in, and bromine and carbon tetrachloride, both of which are highly toxic.